it's very important for us to be visible, for us to be united. Uniting to show their pride, Tallahassee Pride Fest took over Cleman Plaza this afternoon. The event meant to honor love and unity with over 30 vendors and hundreds of festival goers. But as ABC 27's Kendall Brandt explains, this year's event has even more meaning. Today we're here to celebrate life, celebrate pride, togetherness, love, community, family. This is what this is all about. Love is why people like Janelle Diaz came out to Pride Fest in Clayman Plaza. This year's Pride Fest is the first Pride event in Tallahassee since 2019, so it's been over three years since folks have been able to gather and show their pride. Something that Diaz, a transgender drag performer, says is more important now than ever. It's very important for us to be visible, for us to be united, uh, for people to see that we're not only just a part of the LGBTQ community, but we're human beings. It's crazy what's going on. She is talking about Florida's bill called SB 1438. It's legislation that people like Diaz worry will put restrictions on drag performances around children at events like Pride. The bill's sponsor says it's about protecting children. As lawmakers, we are failing the children of Florida if we don't step in and say there are, um, you know, venues at which performances should not let children in. Concerns over the bill is part of what brought Mindy Christensen here. She's with Free Mom Hugs, a group that gives love to LGBTQ plus people who may not get support from their own families. We love our kids and the thought of someone, of, of other people's children not feeling that kind of love is so heartbreaking that that's why we do this. We am here to give them that. Diaz tells me that support is something that makes this Tallahassee tradition so special. Today is about celebrating togetherness. 